Hi, my name is Eddie Parrish. I'm with Edison Lighting Supply. Thank you for visiting EdisonLightingSupply.com. Today we're going to talk about retrofitting high bay fixtures. Um, these are fixtures that you'll find in gymnasiums, warehousing, uh, anything of 16 foot plus. Uh, what we're going to be talking about retrofitting it with on a how-to video is our specifically our 150 watt LED uh, corn lamp. Basically we're going to bypass the ballast, meaning gut the whole ballast out of this 400 watt fixture and screw this uh, beautiful lamp in. The great thing about this product is it's going to cut literally 75% of energy cost by per fixture. So this is only drawing 150 watts uh, and we've got a fixture here drawing 400 watts and creating a lot of heat as well. Uh, to be able for companies to save 75% is just unreal. We are really excited about this fixture. Can't wait to get to this how-to video. So let's get started. Okay, before we get started, two things. One, consult an electrician before you start this, okay? Um, second, let's get down to the tools that we're going to be needing for this project. We have a pair of wire cutters here, a Sharpie, a 5 uh, nut driver, a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of pliers, wire strippers for sure, and a utility knife, as well as a Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, some electrical tape, three wire nuts here, power supply as well, your LED lamp, as discussed in the uh, start of this video, and your 400 watt metal halide fixture. We've got our uh, fixture here, and uh, obviously we've got some conduit here that was tied into a box and probably a warehouse area. Um, anyway, so we want to remove this particular attachment. So we'll just grab our 5 16 nut driver and go ahead and do that. Every fixture, once again, is going to be a little bit different. So let's get attach, unattach these. And boom, it's that simple. All right, now we got all these wires head down in the fixture. I'm going to try to pull that up there. And, okay. Okay. Now. Get rid, of these. get rid of this bell housing unit here. Once again, we can just unscrew these. We do not need to take the bolts all the way out. Well, maybe we do need to take the screws all the way out on this particular unit. Once again, every unit's a little different. Okay, there's one there. And one right here. So we have this lamp, shade, cover, um, diffuser, and uh, off. So... Now what we have here is the exposure, just the socket here, okay? So our goal here is we're going to pull this socket off and then we're going to get inside the interior of this and we're just going to gut the entire ballast inside of this uh, casing for this 400 watt metal power. So let's come in here, just grab our 5 16 nut driver. Okay, now as you can see, we have our socket here, okay? 
generally this is wire netted right in. So let's undo the wire nets. And we're going to set this socket aside because we will be reusing this as our socket for our retrofit LED corn lamp that will be screwed in here. Alright, now we can go right over here to the casing. Alright, once again, we're going to use our 516 driver. We're going to pull this casing apart. One screw here. inside of your 400 watt metal halide. We're literally going to take all of this stuff out of this fixture. So let's grab our wire cutters here. We'll go ahead and trim these wires and that way disconnect that. dead weight folks. We no longer need this or the ballast so we're going to remove both of these from the casing. So essentially we're turning this whole fixture into just a typical lamp that goes on your uh, on your end table next to your couch. It is that simple. So let's go ahead and start here and get rid of the uh, ballast and these generally are some really long screws that uh, are, uh, hold this in so as you can see here these we do not need anymore here. So our next step is let's go ahead and get this thing rewired um, and get the socket set up and we'll get it put back together. So anyway we have this whole casing absolutely gutted here meaning we've removed all the parts the transformer, the igniter, everything. So basically it's just a hollow shell. Now we're at the point now where we need to run some power in here and guys this is your standard 120 uh, some good probably 12 14 gauge wire is recommended once again consult with your electrician okay so our goal is here is we are going to pigtail the white to the white here off of the socket and the black to the black off of the socket to this power okay 
So, just go ahead and wire nut these guys together. driver that we're using to put this back on. 
once again, every fixture is a little bit different, so you might need some variants and some tools. Okay, guys, at this point, so that's it. Our fixture's retrofitted. Now, uh, time to see if it works. As described earlier, um, we are going to screw in this 150 watt LED corn lamp by Edison Lighting Supply. This lamp is a beautiful thing. Once again, it's going to save uh, your company about 75% in energy costs. All right. We back this up with a five year guarantee. It once again draws only 150 watts versus the 400 watts of your metal halide, 400 watt metal halide, or your 400 watt high pressure sodium. So anyway, uh, let's plug it in and see if it works. Voila. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful light. What we're looking at with this specific lamp is around 19,500 lumens. Your standard metal halide, 400 watt metal halide, is going to give you around 16,000 to 17,000 lumen. So, a very, very impressive lamp. It will burn cool, uh, obviously inside the fixture, cool to the touch. It's going to cool down the ambient temperature inside any warehouse, climate controlled facility. You can see energy savings there as well. We are really, really excited about this lamp and what it's going to do for uh, the commercial and industrial uh, clients that we have and uh, the environment as a whole. Thanks again for tuning in to Edison Lighting Supply and on our how-to video on the retrofit of the 150-watt uh, corn lamp. Um, look forward to seeing you again in our next video.